So the uh, Kingston Y drive, um, this is the 32 gigabyte um, version, comes in a neat little box. If I take it apart, you'll see that it comes with a multilingual international getting started guide, a bit of warranty stuff, and a USB cable for moving the data onto the drive. Um, and that's it basically. Um, we take the drive out. We can see that it's a nice little design, very slim line, very lightweight. Um, nothing complicated, just a, a micro USB port on the top, um, power button here, reset button, and three indicator lights to tell you when it's um, booting and when it's connected to the Wi Fi connection. On the back, uh, just information on the MAC address and the capacity and, and, uh, and regulatory label. So to start it up, just hold the power button for a couple of seconds and it'll go through a boot process. Now of course this is a um, the difference between this and normal external wireless drives is this is Wi-Fi as opposed to Bluetooth which has an advantage in that it's a much more robust signal. Um, this advantage is slightly more fiddly to set up um, and, uh, and configure and get running. So it takes a while to actually um, boot uh, and, and find the wireless connection. You'll see a little green light start, start to appear here which is the boot process and then two little lights appear here. It's just a matter of connecting with your device so let's have a look and the first thing you need to do of course is to install um, the Y drive app itself because that's the thing you've got to use um, and the next thing you do is go into your Wi-Fi and find the actual drive um, so if you do a scan there's the Y drive, I select it, connect to the Y drive, and it's done. So then we're ready to go. Select the Y drive itself, and we'll see that it's, oh, well, that was a bit early, so let me come out again and do this again. It should find that almost instantaneously. Um, I can put that down, actually, and just leave that oops, in place. So if that doesn't work, as sometimes it doesn't, this is one of the, the issues about using the, uh, the Wi-Fi connection. I can actually go in and hunt for it via the browser. Again, <laughs> you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You know, you have to check to see, okay, so is the Wi-Fi connected? Am I connected to the Y drive? Yep, I'm connected to the Y drive. So why is it not seeing that? Because it's uh, stupid? <laughs> Possibly. Yeah, we've still got the same. Oh, there we go. We've finally seen it. And there you go. You're in. It's not as, as seamless and as you know intuitive as you'd hope. In fact, it's a pain sometimes because you can't find the drive. You know, it just doesn't uh, want to log in or whatever. Once you're in, it's fine. If I stream this now. This is streaming from the drive, no problem, same with video, it just it doesn't have a problem with it, it's just that initial setup that can be a real, a, a real uh, annoyance. There's a set of um, settings you can, you can configure here, so in this case um, you can set up, uh, upgrade the firmware, which you have to do if you want to use the browser connect, as you can see we've logged into the browser finally. Um, Wi-Fi, the Y drive settings itself, the name, visibility, channel, and, and security. If you want to set up security for the drive itself, and this is a, a quite a, a clever and important section is is that you can actually connect to your home drive through a bridge while you're also connected to the um, to the Y drive. Um, it works. It's uh, it, it's it works. It, it's it's annoying in that it's not as seamless. It takes longer, I think, for it to sync to the actual um, the actual wireless connection on your device than it should do, uh, and that can cause a few problems because you think it's gonna it's actually not working, whereas it just takes a while for it all to to get into uh, into into action. Apart from that, yeah, it's it's great. You know, keep keep the drive anywhere you like. Multiple devices. The really co cool thing about this is that multiple devices can access the same um, Y drive. So, 
you can connect up your draw um, your tablet your mobile phone multiple mobile phones you know multiple devices can all have a hook into this and access the data off off the the drive the solid state drive of course in here not a not a a Winchester drive all in all it's a really nice bit of kit um it, it needs a bit of tweaking to get the um the syncing faster or more elegant or at least some progress bars or something like that but yeah not a bad bit of kit